Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LZ Alpha going along with about 11 duplicates in here for about 597 cycles. And last time we were working on this uh, natural gas generator here. So I went along and did a whole bunch of maths last time, doing things such as taking into account the number of cycles that are in a complete a, a revolution. I, I want to say cycle again, but a, a complete system of the natural gas guys, a complete output here. Uh, and it turns out that I'm outputting about 15.5 million grams over all of the 141.5 cycles that it takes to complete its own cycle. Yeah, I'm going to throw the word cycle out a lot here. Uh, but these gas generators, they can only consume 6.7 million uh, grams in the same same time. Now, two 6.7s, that is not 15.5. Uh, it's like 12, 13, something, you know. Uh, so, I needed to add another one in place, and so I've set this up. I'm going to just uh, speed these along, even though they are very nicely coming along and doing this for me. I reckon if I get all my duplicates on it, we can have this done before I even really finish this first segment. A few things that I had to do, of course, were to reroute some of the power. This is no problem. We can go through and do that, and hopefully it'll be done with uh, local materials. Uh, but we do of course run into occasional flooring issues the biggest issue i had with this was the fact that i had a power line running straight up here and of course i couldn't put the floor on there all right we have all the top tier diggers uh builders sorry with us here and legit of course coming along just to help deliver a whole bunch of stuff it's working well i think i will spare you the cry of the alarms especially as we've just hit night time uh down time i will see you guys when it's finished Okay, next cycle, and while Mr. Lion works away diligently, diligently on that, oh, that was a word I wasn't ready to run into, I'm actually going to move this automation signal up into my steam turbine here. I want to make it so that it only turns on when the steam is a uh, very specific heat. Uh, you can see over here at the moment, uh, we are currently producing about uh, 185 watts. That's nice, but it's nowhere near as good as it could be. If we uh, go onto this, it promises an output of 850 watts, but this only happens when we reach a temperature of 200 degrees. So you can see that I've pro programmed that into here and I've moved the wire up. And you might be going, oh wait, Twitchy, doesn't this liquid shutoff valve turn on and let all this cool water in at 200 degrees? And you are right, dear viewer. Thank you very much for noticing that. Uh, the way we are going to deal with that is I'm going to put a filter gate on. The filter gate is the one that only lets a green signal through once it has received the green signal for a long time. Unless I've got that wrong again. I, I always get this mixed up with the buffer gate. I, I think I've got that right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that filter gate up to a very, very long de delay. 100 seconds, something like that. So if the steam turbine hasn't cooled down the steam in that time amount allowed for it, the cool water will then start to flow, bringing it all back down. Which should mean that we get a very efficient steam turbine usage uh, and hopefully don't end up using any of this excess water. And max this filter gate out. That, that should work for us, right? Another issue that has been building over here that I really need to deal with right now is, of course, this little uh, situation with the natural gas that we have over here. I am going to destroy this vent output because at the moment, any natural gas... Oh, it is a big problem, isn't it? Any natural gas that gets passed through just gets vented out again. The duplicates that walk through this door end up dragging it back through, and that's not really what we want to do. Okay, one for Miss Line coming along to help there. I am going to copy out this filter. We're going to pop it there like that, and this is going to be my natural gas filter. Now, we need to figure about figure out how we're going to get the natural gas out of here and of course we're going to have to do it with uh, gas bridges so that one goes over back this way we can jump it over uh, now we need to think about where this one is going it's coming out and over this way so turn this around okay that should be fine and then if we cancel uh, not cancel we destroy these two pipes here this should then allow us to take gas pipe out of this way I'm not going to connect it but we are going to end up coming out of here and I need to figure out how we're going to get up to connect to this now that shouldn't be too difficult where look the the, the the white square look it disappears from my cursor there that far away no idea why no idea why at all but well, anyway in that time that i was talking these guys came along and did a good for me so if we do this i think we're gonna go up here do you want to actually no now that i've stopped and considered that do we actually want to run up this way i'll come through and put the bridges in later and then we can go yeah, across this way. I don't know if this is the tidiest route, but it's the route we're taking uh, up and then through here. And we'll just use a bridge to drop that off because I don't want this uh, natural gas coming back the other way at all. 
Oh, I didn't notice, but I've got a little glossy Draco coming along here. The uh, the main selling point of this guy is you can cut plastic off his back. As long as he's in hydrogen, which he is, and is eating... Oh, millwood or br bristle blossom. Uh, let's put down some millwood. Why, why not? Uh, oxygen, polluted oxygen, carbon dioxide. Okay, or bristle blossom, you say. What what does that need to survive? I know we need to put, give it some light, but... Okay, we can put that there. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get that doing that, and then we can totally have a ceiling light put in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Where can we steal some power for that? I'm going to do it from... Oh, I don't want to use a big big power source, do I? It would be nice if we had like a, gen uh, a, a transformer kicking about. I don't really want to steal them from here. Oh, yeah, it's quite a big dislike from me, but I, I, will, I will put that there. That's fine. Oh, they ain't going to grow at 30 degrees. This guy might be a little bit harder to keep alive than I was thinking. Well, this is interesting. The doors are the things that are constricting the temperature. I didn't realise. I thought it would have been the gas. I mean, it's both, it could very well still be the gas. But the fact that these doors are getting cold from being next to these radiant pipes is probably helping a lot. I'm a little bit interested in the fact that this one is not as cold as the rest. Uh, I suppose that does make sense. Does that mean we need to bring some... Uh, no, no, we're definitely not going to bring some cold over this way. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's very interesting. Awesome. Even though the pipe work hasn't been finished, the first bridge has gone into place, and now all the gases are being processed again. Like I say, we are losing a little bit of polluted oxygen to the environment, but I'm all right with that. I'm all right. That eventually gets turned into actual oxygen via the deodorizer, as I mentioned before. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's this is cool. This is cool. Oh look, we have totally cleared out all the bad gases from the base. So this has basically been happening by pushing all the waste... No, that's not the button I wanted. By pushing all the waste oxygen, or at least the oxygen coming in through the waste lines, back and into the base. We uh, we recently also hooked up this incoming gas line. This is coming from our steam boiler over here. Uh, this is being pushed down through this base if it needs it, but then more importantly, going through to the big base. Okay, so we've had this perpetual mess going on for a little while here, and I feel like it's mostly a mess. Oh, not that one. This one here, because we can't actually cool down the stuff in here uh, to, to a cool enough temperature. And I'm thinking what I might do with that is to try and extract as much of this out of here as I can, so we only have fresh, cool stuff running through. Now, I do believe that this is only a job that Miss Luna can do, so let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to actually make that the most important job for her. No, she feels like something is more important. What is that? I mean, whatever you feel like it is, I'm sure it actually is. But let's try and find out. Empty story. No, that, that's actually what we're doing. All right, let's follow her around. I literally want to empty it all out. If we could just, just get it all out of there and only be passing cold stuff through here, I think that may or may not help us. I, I literally don't know. Uh, this is this is me just experimenting, trying to bring the temperature down. Well, it's already taken us half a cycle, uh, but it's going well. We've not had any serious alarms or alerts or panics or anything go off, and i got to class that as a win. Talking of uh, classing it as a win, this hasn't turned off the entire time as well, so that, that also means we're getting enough power running through. I, I am feeling all good about just sat here watching Luna. Okay, that's all the radiant pipes clear. I think I'm going to call that good at that point. Uh, Luna is running away, but I really do want her to pick all those up. So it says that she doesn't know where to put them, but I thought we were putting them over here. Is this not a thing? Ah, no, it doesn't look like it is a thing. Okay, I want to I wanna be able to just dump all that petroleum that we had right in here. Thanks. How, how, how did we get salt water in there? What What's happened there? How? Like, literally, how? Where is it coming from? Let's, uh, let's have a look around. I don't think there's anywhere... For, uh, and, oh, unless it's down here, I was just thinking. A liquid bridge. Get, let's rip that down. How did salt water get in here? Okay, we'll have to try and figure out something about that. Yeah, look, there it is. Salt water. So my plan is to try mesh tiles. Let's throw down a bunch of mesh tiles and see if we can dig that out like that. Okay, now with these mesh tiles in place, I should be able to mop up the salt water. Okay, so we've ended up with a whole bunch of sour gas under here. I'm going to have to steal Luna again. Where where are you? There you are. I want you to come down to the bottom here, and we're going to do some very important work, you and I. Okay, here she comes. Beautiful. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to lock, uh, and hopefully she's just straight on it. But if not, let's do that. Not mad, Frank. No. Why? Oh, because Luna's still moving. That's why. All right, I get, I, I get what's happened there. But can we then, once she gets there do that okay all right let's let's try this next one next to her then let's let's see if we misaligned okay what about i don't want to go any further because i want 
I want her to be doing these outside ones. All right, well, it looks like we're just going to have to wait for people to come along. When that happens, I'm going to copy the settings over to here. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll put this back down. Um, yeah, no, we'll put this back down to a six. Hopefully now Mad Frank's coming along to finish. You see how we're packing it further down? I know what I can do. Let's lock them in from this side when they get here. Okay, so now that we've got Jelly locked in there, yes, good. All right, we're going to copy the settings across and destroy all this underneath. The main thing that I'm trying to do here is to eventually open this airlock and let all this steam down. We've got a, uh, a little system trying to let hydrogen out, so that might work. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to take this back to open. I, I really need to actually set all of these copy settings to that. Uh, and this one needs to be locked. 62 kilograms of steam is a lot of steam. No wonder it's taken us so long to cool it down. Just before night time happened. Oh, I was really hoping Miss would come and get this. Uh, just, just before night time happened, we want to try and open that door up. Mainly because there was literally half as much steam out here as there was in here. So if we could just continue getting it out of here, that'd be great. Okay, I just want to have a look at something, because we're getting quite a severe lag time of this, like, chilling things down. As it's coming through, oh, this is not going to work, because, of course, it's going to come in at a different temperature. But we can see that it's coming through at about zero degrees. It was minus 13 and minus one, uh, but about zero degrees. And I want to see what temperature it comes out of here from. It comes about 100. I'm going to try something. I'm going to put this at 50 rather than... Uh, and see if it will spit water out, uh, spit petroleum out just a little bit quicker and keep the cycle going just a little bit faster. Maybe giving heat la less time to diffuse through the doors? I I'm not sure exactly what, what it is I'm hoping to fix here, but I'm hoping it fixes something. Okay, stuff coming at 50 doesn't get fully saturated with heat, so that's pretty cool. Uh, some of these... Oh, no, no, this is cool. Uh, I thought that the, because the, temp, the uh, power died, it was going to be sending some stuff through. But you can see it's still gaining temperatures all the way through. So it must be, must mean that it's still pulling heat in, right? Is that is that how that works? I hope so. I hope so. Bringing those radiant gas pipe temperatures down, not the gas pipe, the liquid pipe temperature, is really what we're trying to do here. So there's enough latent heat in the system that it just wants to cool it down. So we've got a little bit of, well, it's not really a problem. We've got a problem that I would like to solve. Uh, and that is the fact that the uh, steam turbine up here is just kind of like cycling around 200. It turns on, it turns off, it turns on, it turns off. You know, it's a, it's a, a thing that I would like to, is that a cancel? I want to actually uh, destroy, thank you. It's a thing I would like to address. So we're going to go ahead and try and do so. And the way that I'm going to do that is, of course, putting in a buffer gate down here. I'm going to set it to like three seconds, something like that. So when it turns on, it carries on running for just a little bit time longer. It will cool everything down much more and then take a little bit while, a uh, little more time to bring back up. Maybe then we want to turn this, I was going to say to uh, 100 and uh, 210, but it turns out it takes a, it gets up there quite hot, hot anyway. So, yeah. Honestly, I just think like we've hit a new equilibrium with the cooler temperature. So I might go, might go the other way. Let's let's try a different experiment. Uh, yeah, I know it's got petroleum in there. I'd really like to see the petroleum though, if we could. Okay, let's uh, let's come out of here. Petroleum on into there. We can go down to minus fifty. So if I actually put minus thirty in, it should give us an even colder temperature to aim for, right? All right, there goes our first minus 30 packet. Let's see how it goes through the system. I'm hoping it will chill it down more. You know, that, that is our, our goal right here, is just to chill everything down. All right, that was actually effort to trap Jelly in here. Um, he's now, no, doing the doors in the wrong order. Uh, P4, let's turn these all right down. And then this is the one that I really want you working on. I don't mind if Mad Frank gets this other end door. Uh, because that just compresses it further. Um, and then hopefully this should... Yeah, good good work, Jelly. Good work. I think you're going to do it in the right order as well. Oh, guys, I, I, I'm so sorry about the sound quality that's just happened there. Unfortunately, during these times of uh, quarantine and self-isolation, I have been streaming from home as opposed to the, uh, my girlfriend's place where I normally do. And this means that I had to turn the OBS mic settings on and wouldn't you know, I forgot to turn it off, which means I did have another recording of my voice, but whenever I tried to layer them over each other, I sounded like 
I was talking to you from the bottom of a very long well because that's what happens when you uh, hook up two sounds that sound very alike together. Uh, it doesn't matter how exact you try and get them, they just they just don't want to work well together. So yeah, many apologies about that. Hopefully it's all fixed now. I can definitely see that my microphone is not recording on the video track this time. Uh, another thing that I've done wrong, this buffer gate was, not, was a filter gate. It needs to be a buffer gate. It needs to be a buffer gate. Uh, so I have set that up to go. And also down here, you remember that we were mucking around with all these doors? Uh, I've gone ahead and uh, sorted out the automated system again. As you can see, I've got them all hooked up. This time, do not done the mistake of hooking up all the, the individual wires. I'm going to wait until all the system is in place before I ask people to come around and do that. I'm learning. I'm learning. You might be asking why I feel like I need the automated system, and honestly, I can't remember if I've explained this. I did mention that there was more gas out here, more steam out here than there was inside. That's why we've had the door open for a little while, but you can see the amount of gas that is actually in here, 27 kilograms. If I saw that as an amount of liquid, I wouldn't want to dig into that area because it would spill out everywhere. Oh no, what's gone on over here? It is definitely something to worry about. So what I'm going to be doing is setting up the automated door crusher again. Oh look, looks like we are there uh, because I want to be able to destroy all my gases. Let, let, let's be honest, let's just get rid of them, shall we? Hello, what's going on over here? Why, why is this so hot? Hmm. <laughs> We're, we're gonna we're gonna have some serious steam here soon. Look at this. No surface germs. That is cool But just a little bit too hot. Uh, the problem was that this hydro sensor had been on below not above uh, So it just kept on feeding stuff through which makes me a little bit worried that maybe somewhere we've got some dirty water uh, No, we're good. We're good. All right. It's all fine. It's all fine so when this uses water, it uses 666.7. I'm going to say it's actually 0.66666 grams per second. I, got, I just got a feeling, you know, that that's what the numbers are at. Uh, so let's tie, you know, six point all the sixes times three. Well, three sixes are 18. Oh man, that's like 1.8. Let's let's just call it 1.9 um, kil, uh, 1.9 kilos of water. What I want to go ahead and do is put a liquid valve in here and uh, maybe only let two kilos of water through at any one time because I do feel like we've been letting through far too much liquids just in this nice little round system here. Turns out I need to build it up there, but I am fine with that. I'm going to pull this down here. I'm actually not going to pull it all the way down there. I want to go liquid pipes. I want to destroy one of these. Very, very important. Liquid pipes destroyed. Did that not work? I mean, no, it didn't. I'm not sure why, though. Decon deconstruct? De deconstruct. Deconstruct. Why, why, why can this not be deconstructed? What's going on here? Is it because of the build order? Yes, it was because of the build order. All right, fair enough. So at the moment, I've asked them to do all the wires coming into the doors, apart from these two here, because I want to be able to, like, let people escape. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, we then need to do this one afterwards, hopefully with someone being stood outside here. I don't like the way that they like to come inside and try and use it, but that's fine. Okay, so let's uh, grab the automation wire. Turns out that I actually am already. Then we'll pull that down and across like that, and hopefully when this gets built, who's going to be doing it? Can we turn it up and get a better... Let's, let's just ask someone to do that. Luna, all the way over the other side of the base. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's this one going into place, and then if I put this last wire down, hopefully someone around here will be able to do it for us. Once people are on their way, I'm going to destroy that line there and grab... What can, what can I just play with? Let's go a... Well, let's, let's use a hydro sensor. Why not? No, actually, that's a, that's a terrible idea. Let's use a thermo sensor. I can turn it on and off uh, because the the oil might spill over. I, w I would have no idea why the oil would spill over. But what I'm trying to do is separate the control of the thermo aqua tuner from the control of the door system here. So that shouldn't be, hopefully, too awkward. In fact, that should be it there. If I uh, put this up to a priority nine, the door should now be cycling around. So if we put this uh, something like that, actually, all I want is like 30... 30. Let, let's see what happens when we do this. So that is, of course, the wrong way around. Uh, I've got a feeling I've actually set it up wrong. We'll, wa we'll watch a cycle and we'll see what's going on. So we've got a whole bunch of steam coming in. And I'm hoping that when this turns off, the outside doors close first. But I've got a feeling because I've put that knot gate there, uh, I've actually inverted the signal. I thought I was being clever and stopping this, but it looks like I actually caused this. So we'll just see what happens now. This is the, the, the closing I want to see. Yeah, it all comes together at the same time. All right, that's that's fine. We can definitely fix that. I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm going to look back at my uh, look back at my uh, my my layout of here and try and figure out how to fix it. Okay, I just kind of like pulled that wire across there. Let's see if that works good. We got 
horrifically toggling system here. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's uh, let's get into that knot gate and deconstruct it. Oh wow, we actually have a new insane blockage from the amount of uh, amount of oxygen. We've got too much oxygen. We don't know what to do with all this oxygen. Oh wow, uh, I'm gonna have to dump it somewhere, aren't I? Be nice to get it into this system, wouldn't it? Okay, so too much oxygen. Let's turn on all the atmosphere suits. I'm sure that's not got a whole host of other issues with it. Okay, forest's coming on, destroyed the knot gate for us, clicks over. It's all going on at the same time. Ah! It really should be the knot gate. It really should be the knot gate. This changes to green. Uh the filter will only change when it turns to green. So sending this green through, the first thing that happens is these doors open with green, and then the filter gate will wait a little while and then open all this lot. But if we then run that in reverse, maybe we want the filter after... Hmm. Let's try the naive thing that I've got in my head. I'm going to put... I'm going to destroy that bit of wire, but that's so that we can actually not have it connecting up there. I want a knot gate here, and I want to have a knot gate after this, which I'm then going to run the wire down here, hopefully deconstructing that wire as well. And then lastly, I want to have a knot gate over here. That's a lot of knot gates, and I'm sure there is an easier way of doing it, but I think this will end up giving all the signal. The problem was, uh, by changing the signal when it was on the way in, it changed how the uh, filter gate fundamentally worked. The, fun the filter gate works on a green signal, not on a red signal, so I need to change the out outputs, not the inputs, which, um, a little awkward. Okay, I'm hoping that this will be it. Uh, let's, let's find out what happens. Let's let it run. Okay, it's taking a lot of mucking around, like I'm having to come in and, like, assign people to do all the various openings and closings and stuff, but we are very nearly there. Very nearly there. With that now open, I'm hoping someone can get to that bit of wire. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. We've got the mechanized airlock. We're going to go for errands. It doesn't look like anybody's taking it. If I do that, does that mean somebody gets on it? I don't know. Yeah, they should be out of reach. It's only four. Yeah, nice one, Frankie boy. All right, awesome, awesome. We've got that. Now I want to pull that wire down and across to this lot, uh, and we'll find out whether we want to... Well, we are going to hook that one up, but uh, I want to do it after people escape. Mad Frank coming along to put the last of these wires in place. I've been watching the doors react to stuff, and I've got to say, I think we've got it now. Let's speed up the time a little bit here. Uh, as you can see, when the when the red comes along, it all opens. That is entirely why we couldn't do it the way round we were doing it last time, because they all react to the red signal the same. But along comes the green signal to uh, differentiate. But the thing I really want to pay attention to, you saw how that was 20 kilograms? It's now 15 kilograms. The outside doors close in place, the inside doors come along, snap that down and close it all out. Now what I'm actually aiming for here is to get some of this hydrogen out. Uh, if, if we can start getting hydrogen in here instead of 20 kilos of steam per tile, I've got a feeling that we're actually going to have some serious actual healing effects. There's a lot of actuals there, but it might actually work out for us if we can get this working. I, I want to have that temperature. Uh, it is definitely above, and uh, we're going to get that cooling working. All right, that's cool. That is wonderful. Hopefully, all the liquids going through here should be able to start bringing the temperature of the decreasing mass of gas down for us. What I'm really going to do is just sit here and watch this tile of gas and see how low it drops. It's kind of the intermediary between the two. Uh, radiant gas steam is 16 kilos there. It's about 13 here. Okay, yeah, those, these are good numbers to work from. I like the way that the gas carried on streaming across all the way up until the doors closed. That means we have a good amount of uh, flow going all the way through. If it wasn't flowing like that, I'd speed up the timer. As it is, I'm even thinking about slowing it down. If not for the actual... Yeah, this, this phase here wants to be slowed. Let's let's put that down to 10 and see how that works. So we can, Because the deletion happens instantly, but this flow of gas takes a little while. Yeah, 10 seconds is perfect. That That's that's a cycle there. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Going to watch this steam just slowly drift away. Now that we're down in the low teens, it seems to take a little bit longer for the gas to flow across, but I suppose that does make sense given that there's less pressure pushing and stuff like that. Uh, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Hopefully, we're going to be able to bring this down now. Okay, what? Well, we're doing this there's a few other things i want to uh 
uh, address. I want to take this bridge out here and I want to swap it actually for another bridge. I will take this one. Uh, no, 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 the bridge, please. The bridge. Uh, I will take this one and I will swap it around like this uh, and put it down like that. That's going to be beautiful. I want to also take out that little bit of uh, pipe in the middle there. Uh, I think I would also like to replace the majority of this with insulated pipe. Actually, no, no, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It does matter. What I'm trying to do is stop the hot liquids exposing themselves to this area out here. So let's get the insulated pipe and do all of this. We're down to eight kilos in the steam tar. I'd like to see, I don't know, a couple of hundred grams, something like that. I think I also want to turn the filter gate that's in here. Can we go back to the automation overlay? Thank you very much. Uh, I think this filter gate might want to have a slightly smaller time on it. Let's say uh, two seconds. This should only have affected the delay between these doors closing and the middle doors closing. I just noticed that five seconds was a big, big delay. Okay, so these ones snap shut. The other ones are trying to snap shut a little bit earlier. Okay, so let's go back to the filter gate and turn that to three seconds and hopefully that will be right. Of course, right and wrong are very relative terms right now. We just got to see what works. Nighttime has been cooled, but I feel like I'm not happy with the amount of steam that is being forced its, uh, being forcing its way out through these doors so what i'm actually going to do is leave this door wide open here and let hopefully the amount of steam coming from here get down underneath crush this all down uh, and get rid of it all that that would be pretty cool unfortunately it does mean that the nine kilos that we've got down to are now shooting their way back up to like 13 14 but that's fine i kind of i just i want to get rid of all this oh oh some hydrogen was flowing i literally just saw some hydrogen flowing beautiful beautiful this means at some point we're gonna be able to actually start getting getting some uh, gases in here that we can affect rather than the nearly uh, 20, 30 kilos of steam, which we can affect, but only a very small amount. We need to get over that. Okay, so we are slowly eating through all the steam here. Slowly but surely. Uh, we had 20 kilos up here. It's still 20 kilos up here. But down below, we are starting to eat through maybe half a kilo. The problem is, of course, there is a lot of volume here. Uh, not so much down here. So we've got to wait for it all to, uh, to come through. As I exclaimed earlier, we are, are having a little bit of hydrogen fill this area up. So that's going to work out quite well for us. The flow of liquids is underway again. I thought it would be better just to kind of pass it past a whole bunch of stuff here and it um yeah it, it, it's kind of working it's kind of not we're reaching max temperature by about here that's that's fine that's fine we can work with that maybe i wanted to make this insulated i don't know i don't know i, th I think we're okay i think we're okay especially with the deletion going on let's go and have a quick look at how life is going up here uh we seem to still be having a whole bunch of natural gas coming out this is good if i press f6 what's going on we are backing up a little bit with the ethanol but that's fine i'm worried about the stuff that sticks in here but actually honestly at minus 34 i think we're doing okay one of the things i do want to do and i think we're going to do it now is to come through and grab this conductive wire and pass it down back into here and we can turn on this purification system for the longest time now we have been taking oh let's not press too many buttons we have been taking water from our main water supply and using it to power this sanitation system but we're going with a liquid bridge here meaning that actually this is the secondary line what it really wants to do is pull out from all of this so hopefully when this gets built uh, the conductive wire here well, just awaiting some materials from mad frank coming up from the hot zone uh we will be able to see this turn over quite nicely of course it's all just in in aid of trying to stop the rain ah rain i think it's time to deconstruct this system here it's been sat here for long enough and now it is literally only passing out uh some oxygen so i'm gonna get a gas element sensor i'm gonna pop it mm, here it's kind of on the diagonal from that we'll pop that there of course i need a knock gate to go along with it uh, and we're we're going to now turn this into a not oxygen as well and we will find out whether we are pretty much clean because look look how look how clean this place is it's starting to look really good eating of the steam has got us down to 17 grams 18 grams 20 21 grams this was 22 so that, that that's good that's good slightly changed the timings again i kind of felt like the door was just being held open for far too long we weren't getting as much uh, flow through you can see that's kind of settled down in fact even some gases started coming back at this point so the doors then slam back down and uh, delete everything and then we'll continue to watch this as the doors open up uh the oh, look at that up to 14 kilograms there as the doors open up it all rushes down hopefully we can now watch it get back down to about 12 or so but you can watch that the numbers don't actually move all that 
far. So, um, yeah, it's going well. It actually is, okay. it is going well. You can see we're down to 15 over here. But I feel like we might want to just put this door onto auto for a little bit and just try and clear this system out. If we can carry on doing that, then what we can actually do is to shut this door down afterwards when this is, like, turning over and being all nice and stuff uh, and start, like, picking up the steam at the same time as uh, crushing all of this stuff out here. I, th I think that would work out for us in the end. What is Mad Frank over here to do? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? What, whilst you're here, can you just quickly... All right, Miss Can. Um, oh, man, all the way over there, really. Okay, here comes Mr. Shut the Door. That's very good. We've taken care of quite a large bit here. Hopefully it will equilibrium out into a more stable scenario. I might even come along and cut those down so we can get more of the gas out from here. Uh, how much we got coming out this way? This is only a kilo out, out and about here, and that turns out to be quite easy to cool down just with ambient temperatures. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, that, that should work out for us. Okay, I've been watching the steam situation unfold for about a cycle now. You can see that I've got this uh, tile selected here, and I've been watching this amount of kilograms here go up and down, but mainly actually holding about steady, because if we have a look in this top corner here, we've got hydrogen that has had been compressed up to like 20 kilos up in the corner here, but slowly as we've just destroyed the steam, it's been decompressing and actually keeping the average pressure up nice and high. We are getting down to the point where we see grams every now and then, and I'm all about that, but it was just a bit weird to how the hydrogen would actually keep the pressure going, and hopefully now we're getting down into the regime where these numbers can start swapping around, and the uh, the amount of hydrogen in here will start growing, and the amount of steam will start dropping. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, the real question at this point, let's slow this back down, is if we get the thermosensor and go, hey, can you turn back on, please? Are we going to end up being able to cool this down a little bit better? Because obviously we're at about 200 degrees now, but hydrogen changes its temperature relatively quickly. I'm not sure how much thermal mass it is. Not the heavy watt wire. Can we have a look at the hydrogen over here? Let's get the properties. Specific heat capacity, 2.4. Okay, that's quite... That's a little bit higher than I thought, uh, but it should should work out all right. Fingers crossed. Okay, we're now even at the bit where we've got hydrogen at the top here. I would love to get all of the steam out here, but that might not actually be possible until we can crash out as water. But with that going, I think we've got ourselves... Oh no, we've got ourselves a thermal issue. Uh, I turned this uh, liquid... This liquid sensor uh, up to 105 no down to 80 sorry uh, the temperatures coming in are about 150 and I was like you know what just get us down below the boiling point of water and we can probably work with it from there so I'm gonna go ahead and set this door to auto at some point someone's gonna want to come down here and fix that door and hopefully that will then be the point where we don't actually have that much steam in here looking around it is literally tens of grams hundreds of grams sorry uh, on the inside let's try and get a good look here well we got like kilos in some places but in other places we're down to a uh, few grams hopefully this will actually turn over a few times and enable all of the steam to fall out of the bottom obviously at some point we're gonna have to open this door and let the let the steam back in but hopefully the steam turbines will be turning over by then i noticed uh, water was still throw up flowing through this bridge so i have moved that <laughs> Okay, I've left the crusher running for a little while. We're getting to the point now where actually hydrogen is the only thing in there. So what I want to do is open up the green... Set. No, the green one is the one that crushes, right? Let's go back to play. Uh, wait, take the space, take the pause off. Yeah, the green one is the one that crushes. So what I actually want to do is open this up. Maybe 200's a little bit too much. Let's go with 50 instead. Uh, that, that way we've got a minute cycle. And actually what I'm trying to do is get the steam from out of here to kind of travel over this lip. I'm not sure whether that's going to work or not, but uh, that, that's what I want to happen. Maybe I do want 200. Can, can I can I say 590? Then it happens once per cycle. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Then we're just going to be crushing steam once per cycle and hopefully getting this temperature down. We're already down below 200 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful. It's creeping its way back up, but that is what this is for. We do have a slight problem with people coming in and out, so if... Uh if uh, 600, sorry, let's spit those numbers out. If 600 is a full day, 290 plus 10 must be half a day. And let's do it every half a day, shall we? We do have a slight problem with the addition of all these things that I want to pick up from the floor. These guys are laying a lot of steam underneath. Uh, we've got a, a bit of a way to go yet, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll let that run through. Oh, actually, will we? I've just noticed how, uh, how close we are to topping over. Let's go 190 and then crush that down. That should... All right, four, four times a cycle. Four times a cycle. 
us up. In the spirit of clearing out a whole bunch of this gas over here, I've just spent most of the cycle building this unit here. As you can see, it's a whole bunch of doors, but the doors around the outside are set up to the same time as these outside doors, and the doors in the middle are set up to the same time as the inside doors. So hopefully, whenever this cycle is about to tick, we'll watch these two doors shut first, followed very shortly by these two doors as as soon as they get there. All right, beautiful, beautiful. And that should then mean that actually we are starting to destroy all this steam over here. I also have suddenly become aware of why the delay is different. If we come to this, it's a filter gate. What is it supposed? Yeah, it's supposed to be a filter gate. Woo, put that on three and we are back to the right times. Beautiful. Okay, so I've set up the timer on a much shorter loop this time. As you can see, we're only on 10 for 10. That is because when this green signal comes down and wears out, you know what? We could have sawn down that green signal. I'm going to say for about eight. Uh, you can see that all of these gases flow in almost instantly. Almost, almost. So we only give it about 10 seconds for this to then pressurize. It doesn't look like any of the gases are flowing. Slam those doors closed. Do we have the time to close in during the eight-second cycle? Yes, we do. Beautiful. Doors fly back over open let's see all that steam drop down i want to see something very low uh six six and a half yeah that, that sounds good looks like we are going to clear this out in a couple of these cycles not not these cycles <laughs> Well, Luna's performing some magic standing there, and I'm all about it. It looks like a lot of things are being told no while she stood there. That's fine, that's fine. But that means that she can come along and do all of this tidying down here. I'm not sure how she gets back up. Um, we'll, we'll have to try and... Oh, she, she knows how to get back up. Don't worry about that. Less than a cycle later, you can see that up here we're getting down to like four kilograms of steam. That's doing pretty good, though. We do have a rather disappointing 7.2 kilograms of steam over here. So I think we're going to have to let it run for another couple of cycles. I'm going to speed up time here and then we're going to hopefully watch this all disappear overnight. Midway through the next cycle and wow, we are moving the steam from over here. Do you see this? We've gone from seven kilos down to four. I'm a little bit worried what happens when we release all the pressure from under here. Is this going to start moving upwards? Do I need to replace one of these with another heavy watt wire and then have some lining coming in down here? That might be the case, but I don't think it's something I want to do right now. We will uh, we'll keep an eye on this phosphorus gas here and if it starts moving its way up, then we'll start thinking about how to do that. One of the reasons that I'm doing this, I've got a suspicion that most of the heat is actually being conducted through this heavy watt wire plate here and moving the, the 200 odd degrees down and into this lot. So I would really like to get rid of that if I can. Now, I don't think we're going to bring this down into a very reasonable temperature, but maybe below 200 degrees might be a worker. Uh, we, we'll just have to try and find out. Okay, I've just spent two cycles down there staring at it, so I'm going to have a little bit of time, the, uh, the, the cooling system down below. I'll spend a little bit of time just going around making sure everything else is working out all right down here. Everything seems to be working okay here. We were a little bit worried about the fact that we've got some salt water sat on top. Uh, again, still the point where I can't really do anything about that. I will try and mop up that ethanol and see how that works. Maybe it'll pull a little bit of the salt water over to me. We've taken some bit of pipe damage from the salt water, but other than that, we seem to be doing okay over here. What are the temperatures? Minus 28. Yes, love it. What have we got down here? Minus 40s. Brilliant. And this this is about a minus 20. That is, that is just absolutely amazing. We need to probably set this up elsewhere. Talking of elsewhere, let's come over and have a look at our steam turbine. Uh, it's still producing quite an amount of power. Though we've got some overheat batteries going on down here. Okay, we might have to try and figure out a more active way of cooling. That's probably stopping us having a lot of power coming through. Uh, it, it's closed down, so it's enabled. So it should just be letting the power flow. That that should be fine. What about down here? Are we still having uh, still having heating issues we are still having heating issues this is a big 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 shame let's go to 60 and uh that that should be fine to pump the gases through Ooh, this one here at 60 as you can see it's coming through at 50 at the moment so we'll uh we'll hopefully be getting some more power from that of course the real dream would be having a good enough cooling system that we could make use of as soon as i find it somewhere this hydrogen guys are over here as you can see it's going to be producing a uh, hydrogen at 50 500 sorry 500 degrees centigrade but that hydrogen you could just pump hydrogen straight into a hydrogen generator I have a whole bank of them unfortunately I just I need to cool down that hydrogen first and uh, as I can't even ha cool this down I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do about it yeah, I'm really bringing the temperature of the steam in here down I, I, I think anyway we seem to be bringing temperature from over here which is 175 uh, and hopefully it's bringing these down we just got to get them below zero uh, below 100 if we could just get them below 100 they'd start up and then we'd have more 
power for more cooling, you know? So up by this door, I've got a little blob of crude oil, and it's been pinning in this little uh, cloud of sour gas that we've had here. But slowly as I'm bringing down the air pressure in here, this sour gas is starting to just leak over the top. It's like, no, no, I need to spread out. I need to have a little bit more space. There's not enough stuff keeping me pinned in here. And so it's flowing out. And I'm hoping it's going to get caught in this, because that, that is the ultimate fate for sour gas, right? Just delete it, get rid of it. Blah. Okay, I'm going to have to destroy this storage bin for a little bit. Obviously, I needed to move these ladders out of the way to be able to make an airtight seal. And that's left me with no way of getting up and down. So uh, I think now is the time. We're going to we're gonna put in some ladders and we're going to destroy this storage bin. And hopefully someone will come along and pick everything up. That's my hope. How about if we move it up here? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, it looks like, yes, I was right to be a little bit worried about that. Oh, it's happening faster than I was hoping it would. Oh, no. Let's try and swing that round. It's not going to let me do that for now. Uh, I, wanna, I, wa I want this much, much higher priority. Who's coming along? Miss, you, you were close. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Here comes Mad Frank as well. I'm not sure what it is you're going to come do. Maybe this. No, nope. all right. Fair, well, who knows what he's going to do? Who knows? Uh, he's decided that he's going to usurp that job. All right, fair enough, fair enough. And then we want the heavy watt, pal uh, heavy watt plate. Uh, and we want to have something that's like as low thermal, well, iron. There we go. As low thermal conductivity as possible. I also wonder whether I'd do well to try and push this crude oil back up onto that. I think I will. Let's uh, let's try and dig out a few corners here and see if we can't get down to it. Because crude oil conducts temperature... Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look, actually. Uh, thermal conductivity, 00818, whereas the crude oil is... Oh, no, let's not do that. Let's cancel all of that. The sour gas is a good idea. Uh, because I want to set up a thermal barrier between this heavy watt joint plate here and the rest of the world. I'm hoping that the phosphorus also is pretty bad. Uh, I mean, point two is actually kind of okay. The uh, the joint plate is much higher, though. So, yeah, it, it's the phosphorus and the sour gas are going to be the limiting factors on the conductivity here. Good. I also feel like maybe now we want to get rid of all this side of the circuit. This just totally is not needed anymore. Another thing I'm worried about is how much temperature these items led on the floor are keeping hold of. So I've asked them to come along and do a little sweep. Most of them are being taken up to this nice little cooling area that we've got up here. You can see hot stuff gets popped in there and then dissipates its heat throughout all of the water. I think this is a great system that doesn't really get used enough. Uh, the steam is not from that, it's from this. <laughs> so I've got some petroleum that was backed up in the system here. I was thinking about dropping it in there, but as you can see, we're already a little bit all uh, tied up there. So what I'm gonna do is extract it all out of there like that and the next thing i want to do is try and get some of this water down to here let's go and put ourselves a little bit of a liquid bridge in place i suppose really we should be doing a liquid shelf so that we have some control i just want to push some water into maybe we have a better way of pushing water into there how about if we uh is this how i want to do it no this is totally how i'm going to do it though uh we're going to take a temperature shift plate we're going to grab some ice oh am i out of ice uh i mean that's probably a good thing because i would have ended up <coughs> throwing far too much in there okay here comes frank with a small ice delivery surely that's enough no all the ice that he kept brought down here immediately melted lol i wonder where the steam ended up <laughs> Oh, oh, there goes some water there, and Miss is going to make a small delivery, but is it even going to be a little bit? Okay, I think I'm now going to say, hey, that's enough of that. We've got some steam in there. That should now leave that closed. We've got nearly a kilogram of steam in there, and I just wanted to bring the temperature down enough. Still waiting for this to do its business. We're down to 150, though. That's much better than where we were. Oh, if only we could keep the power running. This would be going wonderfully. We're down to 140. 49, you know, that's only one. Oh, but it keeps going up. You see, it just keeps going up when the power shuts off. Ah, oh, all right, all right. We'll have to try and figure something out with that. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we need to find another source of power. There seems to be a lot of power issues on the go at the moment. I'm wondering whether we can use a little bit of maybe this hydrogen here to power the first cooling situations going on over with the other hydrogen vent. If we could do that make a, a little closed loop cooling system that would be cool but i'm not sure exactly how we're going to make that work but i will see you then oh and we're going to do that bye